Well, we've survived our first night watch shift. How did it go, boys? It was a breeze. Uh, getting nighttime was the best. Except for starting the night off with a flying fish landing in the cockpit. Yeah. Wait, put it. Oh, he literally landed He's right so in my blue, leg. Though. Look how blue he is. Ew. Curled up in a ball right there and slept for most of it. <laughs> Wind vane did its, or the, yeah, the hydro vane did its job and uh, had it nice and balanced all night. We averaged like seven and a half knots the whole way through and yeah, no big deal. Hit a couple of squalls this morning, which made it interesting, but now we're going to shoot a tiny little gap. We're going to be in the BVI's. Almost there. What are we doing? We just got to the baths. Time to go explore. Beautiful. The baths are a national park located on the southern end of Virgin Gorda and the British Virgin Islands. <laughs> this place is cool. While out exploring, we found an abandoned wooden walkway that we decided to check out. And the views at the top were beautiful. Underwater, the baths proved to be even more impressive. The rock structures provided protection for many different species of fish and coral. How was that? That was so cool. And my favorite ones are the little black ones with the bright blue polka dots. They're like a little party in a fish. <laughs> So, how was snorkeling? It was really fun. It was a lot cooler than we expected it to be. And we saw some massive fishies that I've never seen before. What'd you see? Uh, a grouper. And? A barracuda. And? A squid. Two squid. Two squid. Two squid. And I learned how to dive, finally. I'm not very good about going down and staying down. How long um, did you stay down? How deep um, did you go? <laughs> I went about 12 feet, 15 yeah, feet, um, which is a lot for me. But I was only able to stay down for a couple seconds because I ran out of air pretty quick. <laughs> Almost drowned. Um, but now we're getting ready to pack up and head to Tortola for our next adventure. Woo woo! <laughs> See, it's right there, that's the heading. <laughs> Once at the anchorage, we saw some catamarans up on shore and decided to go see them up close.
We're going treasure hunting. Yay. We found some abandoned boats. Following the woods is always an adventure. Let's see if we can find any goods. <laughs> oh no, I'm caught. I am caught. Found a good one. That's beautiful. Beautiful shell. Let's see yours, Wes. Oh man. Hurricane Irma made landfall in the BVIs in September of 2017. The hurricane took four lives, damaged or destroyed 85% of houses, and cost $3.5 billion in total damage. Charter fleets claim to have lost 80% of their boats during the hurricane. Over a year after the hurricane, the effects are still prominent all around the islands. While scavenging the boats, Travis found a couple of surprises. Oh, oh me! What the fuck was that? It's the biggest rat just tearing right in my face. This is this far away from me. Like... What'd you find? A new life ring. And? A towel. That was right with next a, to... With a crazy mouse attached to it. <laughs> After our time there, we head to our next stop, Joost van Dijk. <laughs> the only reason I noticed is because it looked ugly in my video. The video that you're taking right now? <laughs> so, how's your day going? Let me record you. <laughs> <laughs> 